Okay guys, welcome to your singles love reading for Sagittarius. This is going to be for April 2024. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We are going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love and the person that you are connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on if there's new love coming in for you guys. Apply this to your own unique situations. Uh, you may switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Sagittarius people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. Also, um, I am doing another giveaway where I'm giving now two free uh, 30 minute personal readings with me on Zoom. So if you guys are interested in that giveaway, check out the details on how to enter. Uh, I will announce the winners on April 12th, okay? So tell me about, tell me about uh, Sagittarius, single Sagittarius in love. What's going on with single Sagittarius in love? There are blocks and challenges in finding love right now for April 2024. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for single Sagittarius. Alright, you guys, let's see. So we got the Three of Cups. It seems like you guys are out there, you know, having a good time meeting people here, okay? I do feel like with the two of wands here, some of you guys kind of have, uh, some of you guys kind of have options here too, all right? So we have the double, oh wow, Capricorn energy. Ace of wands here. Four of wands. Ten of swords, okay. So sorry about guys about my allergies, it's acting up again. Um, and I usually don't like to take any sort of medicine, so, so I like to like to let I like to let it ride out like naturally, because your you know your body does have the ability to you know repair itself. It just takes a little time. Um, Ten of Swords, Four of Wands, Ace of Wands, the Devil, Capricorn energy, Two of Wands, and the Three of Cups. I do feel like you're meeting someone new, but I feel like this person is not good for you though. Yeah, I do feel like this person can be very obsessive, can be very controlling, is a sex addict here, and they feel like this connection is going to be very, 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 very intense. The Ten of Swords here. One of the things I feel like you're meeting this person is that you might not have completely gotten over a past situation yet or that you haven't learned from it. And I feel like that's why this is repeating again. The Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords, the Four of Wands here and the Five of Cups. Ace of Wands here and the King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Yeah, this is a very narcissistic, controlling individual here. I do feel like this person also has a tendency to drink a lot here, too. The Devil. The Seven of Pentacles. You're going to be completely wasting your time with this individual because I do feel like you're stepping into another relationship where I feel like you're repeating the same thing over again because I feel like you had this with somebody else here, too. The Two of Wands. So I feel like the block here, you know, Sagittarius, if you have a tendency to immediately jump into another relationship after you break up with somebody here, it's important for you to do the work to heal from the past experience and learn from your experience so that you don't re re repeat the same patterns again. Uh, the Three of Cups here and the Hangman, yeah. It's important for you to gain some perspective here. What, you know... It is a cliche, but what you don't learn, you're bound to repeat the same patterns again, and you feel like it's happening again here, okay? Uh, what else does Sagittarius need to know, look out for, work on for April 2024? Is there anyone new coming to Sagittarius's life? 
which I feel like you are dealing with somebody here. Um, and I feel like there are red flags showing up here and I feel like it's important for you to, yeah, this situation with this individual that's coming into your life, it's not really true love here. Yeah, I do feel like this is like a fake twin flame or a twi fake twin flame soul connection here. I do feel like whoever this is, this person's definitely going to love bomb you to death. This person's going to play games here. This gonna, Yeah, this person's going to lie. This person's going to be really deceptive here, okay? This person's going to juggle you with other people. Ah, uh, yeah. Trouble is coming in for you guys, okay? I do feel like you're, some of you guys could already be dealing with this new person here, okay? I feel like he knew that this person was trouble as soon as they walked in, but I feel like some of you guys could have ignored the red flags here so that you could be in a relationship, okay? Or that you were hoping that what you were seeing was not true or that was a, it was an isolated incident, incident, but a lot of times what people have to learn, when people show you who they are, you gotta trust it. You know what I mean? Yeah, there's gonna be arguments here. There's gonna, gonna be a lack of balance here. I feel like there's gonna be heartbreak here, okay? Um, yeah, it's like that Taylor Swift song. I knew you were trouble when you walked in. And this is it. I do feel like a lot of you guys met this person. Like, out and about at the bar. It doesn't have to be. I, I also feel like this could have been kind of like a like a fling, like a hookup situation here. And I feel like it eventually turned into something more. Because I feel like the intensity of the sex was so good. It just naturally kind of developed into something more where I feel like... Some here it's starting to chase you, start to love bomb you here, okay? Yeah, ton of swords again. This deck has two tons of swords here. Seven of swords and judgment. I feel like your guys and your angels and your ancestors have been warning you against being around this person here. I really feel like for some of you guys, some of you guys broke up in the last relationship, immediately jumped into this one here. And, you know, I just feel like some here just didn't really do the work to heal. I mean, if, the, if, this, is not, if, the, if this is not you, I mean, you can apply this, this to someone that you know that's going through this here. It could be a situation that you have a friend or a sibling that's dealing with a par partner that you don't like. You know, the two of pentacles here and the high priestess, yeah, I feel like you should have known better. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Oh, Temperance and the Sun, uh, the Leo energy with the Five of Wands here and the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like someone here needs to be happy on their own in order for it and to cultivate a healthy relationship with themselves in order to have a healthy relationship with other people here. You know, I, and I feel like with the Wheel of Fortune here, you could be finally coming to that realization and making that change here and trying to manifest, you know, a different life for yourself here okay so Sagittarius I hope that this was helpful I hope that this resonated if it did leave a comment down in the comment section below like this video share this video subscribe hit the notification bell and I'll speak to you guys in the next one thanks guys bye